Hello, I'm here today to do a review for the Marbles. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to continue to talk about it with you guys. Um, there will be spoilers, but this movie has been in, out in theaters and now it's been on Disney Plus for a couple weeks um, when I'm going to post this. So I have a lot of videos I'm making right now. So, um, Hopefully you've watched it. I'd assume you have, but yeah, I'm just excited to get started. Um, yeah, I loved this film. It really was what Marvel used to be and what I hope it continues to become. Uh, like a happy-go-lucky, but also a little dark, like humorous is probably a better word for it. A humorous um superhero tale with great friendships and great relationships with and it going like expanding on those relationships of all different kinds um in this one whether it be friendships or parental or, or relationships or sibling relationships they really do a good job with those connections between characters and they really continue to do a good job with that in this that's something i think that has really not been as evident since endgame like there's been a couple things here and there like wandavision falcon and their soldier um guardians volume three um but we also have gotten things like she hulk which is an abomination to uh the screen uh in my opinion i don't like that show but it's it is truly this was what i wanted it to be a lot of people were really not liking this so i went in with really low expectations and i came out having a fantastic time i didn't like kamala that much in miss marvel but i really liked her here she i think she was a lot more similar to the comic in this um she had that excited teenager feel without going overboard and being annoying which as someone who is i my personality is a lot like her i, I get very excited about things like that um i just i i related to her but after a while i was like this is extreme to the point that even i'm like Ooh, okay um but yeah i really did enjoy it a lot um yeah um what's another thing i liked her a lot more in this carol i liked her more in more in this film than i did in captain marvel which i don't hate captain marvel like a lot of people do but it's not my favorite i think it's just there um, I liked her more in this film. No, I, I really liked her character. Um, I think they expanded on it a lot. Um, and they did a good nice job with that. Um, Monica was great. I loved her in WandaVision and it, she just continued to be great. But um, I really liked their friendship. And I think they did a really nice job with connecting all those characters together. And making sure that it felt believable for them to be interacting. And like their their relationships because sometimes in film they're like we're best friends right away and I, I don't really like that I like how they did they took steps to make that close friendship um yeah so you know I just I had a really good time with it and I really liked the humor that was something I another thing Marvel has really not I've been like, I'm wanting some more funny shows. Like, I've liked some of the shows. Like, Moon Knight, I loved that show. It was not funny. Um, What If? I loved that show. Not super funny. Um, she Hulk hated that show. Was not funny. Um, But, like, there's not a lot of humor lately. And I really liked that they put some jokes in there. And it was a good time. I liked it a lot. I loved seeing Goose again. Um, best part of Couch and Marvel, um, seeing Nick Fury again and him actually being Nick Fury, not whatever he was in Secret Invasion where he's like, in Secret Invasion, I think they were like trying to go with like, will he retire at the end of the show or will he not? And like, I mean, if, if Nick Fury doesn't, isn't in it anymore, I'd rather him not like, 
I'd rather it not be about him going, like, getting older and not being able to do things. Like, I don't really care. I guess. I feel like that's kind of mean, but I think they really focused on that. They don't really care. I don't know. But I need to post the rest of those reviews. I have not done that yet. Um... But, yeah, I really liked Nick Fury a lot more in this than I did in Secret Invasion. And even that was just came out, like, six months ago. But, yeah, I, I really did. Um, what's another thing? I just, I had a really good time with it. Um, and I really enjoyed it. The humor was great. The characters were great. The action. I haven't even talked about the action. I really liked the action. Even at those points, it was kind of, like, a little strange. Like, the the planet that only sang, I, I was a little weirded out by that. I, I think it was supposed to be funny, but it kind of did not land for me, at least. Um, I was just kind of like, okay, this is weird. As someone who loves musical theater and, like, I like singing and bursting out into song is nothing new to me. I, I mean, I do theater. I'm a theater kid and a choir kid, and a band kid, uh, bursting out into song is not something I have a problem with normally, but it was a weird time and a weird film to do it, and I did not really understand that. <sighs> yeah, but other than that, I really liked the fight scenes, um, and even that really wasn't too bad, it was just a weird vibe, I was really not enjoying that part, that was my least favorite part of the film, probably, I was just really confused by it, um, but yeah, I really, really did enjoy it other than that. Um, hmm, what else? I don't know. I, I loved the humor. Like I said, I loved the action for the most part. I loved the characters. I, I loved just the stories and the relationships that these characters made. I love Kamala's family. Okay, I need to talk about this. I was wondering, Bruno, that kind of made me sad because Bruno was the best part of Miss Marvel. But... I got some of her family, which I also really liked from Miss Marvel, and I was really excited that we got to spend some time with them and get to see them, like, interact with Nick Fury and all those other, like, people that aren't Kamala and getting to see them interact with different people that we haven't gotten to see before. And they really, like, I was laughing out loud. I loved them. Um, that's part of the show right there. Um... Yeah, I just had a really good time with it. Go watch Miss Marvel. Uh, not Miss Marvel. The Marvels. It, it's a really good time. I don't really have anything extremely negative to say about it. Other than Guardians. It's definitely my favorite film to come out. Guardians Volume 3. Uh, I probably should uh, say that. Um, since Endgame, it's... In my Guardians and No Way Home. I think are the only things I've liked more. And there's been a lot of stuff that came. So I, I really enjoyed this. And I haven't really enjoyed Marvel so much lately. So I was really happy to get that happy Marvel feeling again. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Overall, having a wonderful day. I can watch this film. It's really fantastic. It's on Disney Plus. If you have Disney Plus, you have nothing to lose. But yeah, it's really, really good. That's all I have to say. Um, but yeah, go watch it, please, for me. But if you don't want to, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're all having a wonderful day. I love you all to thousand, and please stay safe. Bye, guys.